Hi, I'm Laura GB, and in this video, we're going to connect Power BI Desktop to Google Analytics 4, okay? The new version of Google Analytics. You need to have the latest version of Power BI Desktop, so July 2023 or onwards. And let's start by connecting up. So we're going to go get data, we're going to click more, and then when the get data box comes up, we're going to search for Google. And there we are. There's Google Analytics. And we're going to click connect. It'll warn you it's a third party connector. That's fine. Click continue. Then it asks you, do you want one or two? One is the old one. Two is the new connector in beta mode. Little connector GA4. Now, I'm assuming this question is going to stop being asked at some point. So if you don't get this question, you've got the point where it's no longer being asked. And into the navigator we go. Let me expand up. So once we expand into here, if I scroll down, you can see all these little chart ones. These are known as metrics or measures. And if I keep scrolling all the way down, we end up with a different, a different icon. And these are what's known as dimensions. So let's start by bringing in a date column. So I search for date at the top and we bring in date and you'll see we get an error. You've got to have one measure or metric. So let's go for views. And there we go, screen page views. And there we get some data. So I am, that's pretty clean. I'm going to straight away click on load. And then I'm, let's put in a chart so we can see our data. So I'm going to go for a line chart. On my x-axis, I am going to put the date. Y-axis, we could just go and put in that value or we could behave. And let's just write ourselves a quick measure. And I'm going to call this page views. And it's going to equal the sum of my page views column and there we go we can add that into our y-axis there let's expand up my chart so we can actually see what's in it and there we are we have got a chart showing that showing my page views per day over the last the amount of data I've got back it goes all the way back to September last year. So that's great, but I want to add something different. I maybe perhaps want to filter by continent. Let's do that. So we need to add that column in. So back to the home ribbon. And let's go for transform data. And if I look here over on the right hand side of my applied steps, I've got added items. It's got a cogwheel. Let's click the cogwheel and it shows you an error because there's an error in the previous step. It's a bizarre error because, yeah, there is an error in the previous step. It's not really an error. It's just saying, please pick some things. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. How we add new items is there is a ribbon called Cube Tools and it's got add items on there, which will add you a new add item step. And there we go. We can get them into here now. Unfortunately, there's no search this time, so I'm just going to have to go and think, but they are alphabetical. Just means I need to remember my alphabet. There we go. There is continent. And we can click OK. And it's added a new step. I recommend you keep this extra step and don't combine things because actually you can now click that cogwheel and it will come back up. But anyway, not for now. We're going to go back to home. We're going to do close and apply. And uh, we're going to add in a slicer of continent. So there we go. We can switch it across to see. It across the different continents. So in this video 
we connected to Google Analytics 4. We then went back in and we added extra columns. I'm Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.